This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1404. How to Train If You Have an Injury. Should You Rest Instead? Part 2, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Tuesday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more just like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors, and always with permission from the sites. Now remember, today's post is part two from yesterday. So if you're new here or skipping around, I'd recommend listening to yesterday's episode first. That's episode 1403. But if you're all caught up, I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short. Let's jump right in and hear part two and continue optimizing your life. How to Train If You Have an Injury, Should You Rest Instead? Part 2 by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com Find the opportunities to train in other areas. My dear friend, it's time to get creative. When you get injured, start thinking outside the box to find the opportunity in the obstacle. A shoulder injury may make back squats incredibly painful, but holding the bar for a front squat instead could feel fine. And perhaps it just so happens that you've neglected the front squat lately. So instead, try to look at an injury as an opportunity for you to focus on a weakness. Strengthen your weaknesses, become more well-rounded and better equipped to deal with rigorous activity. But enough of the generalities. After all, you want some specific recommendations on how to train around your injuries. So here are some tips that have worked for me and other rebels to keep you training despite injuries. Training with lower back pain. Forego any spinal loading, period. That means no squats for sure, but it also means no deadlifts. It also means using no additional resistance in any movement where your shoulders should be higher than your hips. That pretty much limits you to the bench press as far as free weights go, which you're gonna wanna make sure you do correctly. You could also spend your recovery time exploring various bodyweight exercises. Training with an injured wrist. Wrist pain is super common when doing the traditional push-up. You might be able to alleviate this pain by using push-up bars and even, believe it or not, knuckle push-ups. This is because you might be dealing with a flexibility issue and not an actual injury. Front squats and power cleans done with the Olympic rack position may also lead to complaints of wrist pain. To reduce wrist pain in the front squat, try the more common crossed arm rack position. For the power clean, concentrate on getting the bar on top of the front of your front deltoids, your shoulders. If the bar is touching your throat, you're getting there. How do I train with a knee injury? Knee pain typically comes in a fitness setting as the result of one of two things. Deep bending, such as with a squat or lunge, or impact that corresponds with landing from jumping. Lateral or side-to-side movement may also be an issue, especially for participants of sports like soccer, rugby, and basketball. Knee issues can be especially frustrating for those trying to lose weight because exercises involving squatting, lunging, and jumping are ideal for accelerating fat loss. In this situation, I typically recommend a kettlebell swing as my first alternative option. A properly executed swing does not involve much bend of the knee, and in my experience, most people who cannot squat can handle swings without screwing up any pre-existing knee conditions. If you're trying to lose weight, another option you could try is boxing drills. However, it is important to work slowly at first to be sure that the twisting necessary for generating punching power from the hips does not aggravate the knee condition. Can I lift with a hurt elbow? You're out of luck on this one, unfortunately. Sorry. Nearly any upper body exercise, push or pull, will hinder your recovery time. Instead, focus on lower body work, such as barbell squats, lunges, and sprinting. How can I exercise with an injured ankle? Well, basically, avoid any high-impact movements. And all that means is do not jump. But other movements that involve more subtle ankle movement, such as squats, may also have to be put on the back burner as you heal. It is possible, and possibly likely, 
that you may have to focus on upper body movements and use seated versions of movements such as rows and overhead presses instead of standing. This will help let your ankle heal. What should I do with shoulder and hip pain? Well, test, test, and then test some more. These ball and socket joints can be the most unpredictable when it comes to training options. Start slow, start light, and back off the second you feel any pain. Moving forward with an injury. Injuries are always frustrating when they happen, but I don't know anyone with any significant amount of training time under their belt who hasn't had to deal with one. When injured, first seek a medical opinion. Then be smart with your exercise selection. Dial in your nutrition and sleep. And finally, be aware of training opportunities that you would not have even considered without the injury. You just listened to part two of the post titled How to Train If You Have an Injury. Should You Rest Instead? by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. You're here to take charge of your health and wellness, but it's confusing out there. Do a quick search on a health-related topic and you definitely won't get a clear picture or clear idea of who or what to trust. This is exactly what Inside Tracker has been designed to solve. It's a personalized health and wellness platform that's super unique, built to help you live a longer and more productive life, backed by science, rigorously reviewed, and directly linked to published, peer-reviewed scientific research publications. So, how it works, the first time you use Inside Tracker, you'll get a clearer picture of what's going on inside your body. This is from their patented algorithm that analyzes your biometric data. From there, Inside Tracker will provide you with a concrete and science-backed plan for reaching your health and performance goals. They'll then track your progress every step of the way so you can stay accountable and make those important changes. Now, for a limited time, you can get 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. Just go to insidetracker.com slash OHD. That's insidetracker.com slash OHD. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Steve provided so much fantastic advice. This article was so jam-packed with information that if you're experiencing an injury, you'll probably need to listen to some of his suggestions again. Now, last week, I actually shared with you a little history of my injuries, and I had one of those nasty elbow injuries where I had to basically stop doing anything upper body related. Now, I really appreciated something Steve said. Now, I don't want to mess it up, so I'm just going to quote him here directly. Try to look at an injury as an opportunity for you to focus on a weakness. When we work out, so often, we repeat those exercises that we're good at or come easy to us. Look, I do the same thing. I have to specifically plan to perform exercises that I don't like or that address my weakest areas. Just this past weekend, in fact, I was having a conversation with friends and I was complaining about running, basically how much I hate it. They were talking about how easy running is for them. They were talking about how adding an extra mile at the end of the run is no big deal. For me, adding a mile at the beginning or end of the run is like adding an extra 100 miles. But that just means it's an area I need to work on. And I'll be honest, it's not easy to get myself motivated on those days when running is on the menu. But I do it anyways. And here's the thing. Afterward, I never regret it. I always feel so good about myself for having forced myself to run or basically to work on one of my weak spots. Now, ask yourself, What is your most important takeaway from Steve's article? After that, ask yourself again, knowing this, what am I gonna do about it? For me, because I don't have an injury right now, knock on wood, I wanna focus on my weak areas. What are you gonna do? All right, that'll do it from me for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening every day. I hope you're having a great week so far, and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.